how far away are you now? Uh, because uh, this, this whole entire project needs about $30 billion, correct? Oh, that's right. So, yeah, uh, thank you for having me. Um, yeah, so this, uh, this current capital raise we've just completed, uh, that is to fund, uh, that's enabling Sun Cable to fund the remaining part, part of the development work for the Australia-Asia Powerlink. Uh, as well as accelerating our broader portfolio of projects uh, of a similar nature. Um, the, the capital raising for the actual project, Australia Asia Powerlink, as you said, that's, that's $30 billion. Uh, we'll be uh, announcing our uh, financial advisors uh, who will be appointing in the next couple of months, um, and uh, they'll assist us for the capital raising for that, for, for that uh, uh, process to actually build uh, the project commencing at the end of 2023. But a question that I'm sure a, a lot of uh, Singaporeans are uh, thinking about. Once uh, this is operational, once you have uh, connected the cable, then uh, does it mean that uh, I have to pay uh, lower power bills? Uh, if you look at the... Uh, the Singapore is, uh, just like everywhere else on the planet, is... Uh, wearing the exposure to gas and uh, other uh, fossil fuel prices uh, being through the roof at the moment. Um, what we offer is uh, competitively priced electricity that's also extremely stably priced over a very long term. And that's not, uh, not a uh, uh, scenario that's existed previously in many markets uh, because they've been so reliant on fossil fuels and fossil fuels inherently uh, have uh, exposure to volatility of price. So we right. take that away, we supply the, the electricity at a really competitive price and business can, pay, and can plan over a very long term because they know what their energy input's going to be.